ABC 24, WPTY. Our focus, the Mid-South. This is ABC 24 News. Here's a renowned entertainer, but to the people of the Full Gospel Tabernacle Church in Memphis, the Reverend Al Green is simply their pastor. And as ABC 24 UPN 30's Les Smith reports, today his congregation and the city made known their appreciation of his work and his life. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us. We call, Lord, we call, we need you. The Reverend Al Green doesn't need a lyricist to write anything when it comes to speaking about his Lord. Like the songs he sings, words of prayer seem to flow just as naturally. The world-famous entertainer, who is also the pastor of the Full Gospel Tabernacle in Memphis, was the focus of a tribute today outside his church. As a result of a city council passed resolution, Hale Road in Memphis was ceremoniously renamed Reverend Al Green Road. Sponsor of the resolution, council member Tawan Stout Mitchell, says the choice of green was right on time. Certainly, Memphis has many treasures, and Al Green is one of those, and one of those unsung heroes. I don't think we've given him enough recognition, but this is a start for us in Memphis. The city loves him, the world loves him, and to be here for this dedication today is really a marvelous testimony to Al Green. More than 200 people on hand inundated Reverend Green with their own brand of love and happiness. Yet for the man who has etched his name eternally in the history of modern contemporary and gospel music, Green credits a familiar source for his talent. Surrounded by the love of Jesus and the love of Christ, this honor is, um, I just give it all praise to God. Les Smith, ABC 24, UPN 30 News. While Reverend Green was also honored tonight with a gala dinner at the Memphis Marriott, proceeds went to his church's Feed the Hungry program. Another church celebration today, this one in downtown. The Greater New Salem Missionary Baptist Church is celebrating its 40th anniversary. Church members once met in a classroom on Bill Street, but they later moved to a Mississippi Boulevard site. 40 years ago, up until this present time, 40 years ago, I was 10 years old, and I was part of the celebration. My mother and father and all of my family uh, marched uh, down the streets uh, to this location, and we're just happy to be here. Now, the church was founded in August of 1960. A Mid-South teenager wins top honors from a national civil rights organization. Timothy Stout was named Mr. NAACP at this year's conference in Baltimore and was honored today at the NAACP Candidates Forum at Mount Olive CME Cathedral. I mean, it was indeed a privilege and a joy to represent Memphis and Tennessee because, uh, we, like I said, we won four years in a row. And, uh, I mean, I've just thoroughly enjoyed myself and had a good time. The Civil Rights Group gave Stout a $2,000 scholarship and a laptop computer. He plans to attend the University of Memphis this fall. Meanwhile, Memphis police make an arrest in a deadly drive-by shooting. It happened Tuesday night near the El Dorado Apartments on Ketchum Road. Police say the suspect walked up to the victims, fired, killing one person and injuring two others. He then left in a white car. 26-year-old Marcus Rogers faces murder and attempted murder charges. New information linking a man who went on a shooting rampage at his workplace to another death. 40-year-old Reginald Davis shot two people at One Source Industries before killing himself. Days later, the body of his landlady was found in his home. The medical examiner says Nanny Crutchfield died the same day as the plant shooting. The investigation continues. Well, it was a beautiful day outside today. Again, springtime weather. Let's go to meteorologist Mark Walden in the Skynet Weather Center to tell us there's more good news on the way. Hello, Mark. Well, Mike, there is more good news on the way that temperatures will continue below normal for the next couple of days, but we could use some rainfall. Will we see some to maybe help out our uh, rainfall deficit? Find out coming up very shortly. Mike? Terrific. Look forward to it, Mark. Thanks. Well, there is a desperate plea from the Memphis Humane Society tonight. It's filled with more animals than it can handle, and it needs your help and homes for the abandoned and abused pets because its facility is just overflowing with dogs and cats. It's a cacophony of noise in the doghouse of the Memphis Humane Society. It's a bit quieter in the cat room, but not any less crowded. <laughs> a mild winter made for a larger than normal cat population this year, and the number of injured and mistreated dogs is also on the rise. This little puppy was, um, came in on a cruelty. 
along with her four other sisters and mother. And we try to um, uh, yes, we get the injured and abused animals back to health. Back to health and ready for adoption by responsible pet owners. Such as Karen Allpoint, who heard about the overcrowding problem and is now looking for a dog. I've always been an animal lover. I've got a cat at home and she's not going to be too happy with this, but you know, <laughs> she'll get over it. <laughs> The overcrowding problem at the Humane Society has steadily gotten worse since Memorial Day. We not only have um, too, many, too many animals here, we also have a lot of animals in foster homes and a lot of animals at veterinarians. And that's a lot of pressure at the seams of an organization that relies totally on donations. And if you can help the Humane Society by giving a dog or cat a nice home or making a donation of money or pet supplies, then you can call them at 272 one seven five three and there's much more tonight to come on abc 24 news at 10 we're going to open up our health file week in review and look at why candy bars can provide a health benefit and a new place for kids to hang out at the redbirds game we're going to take you there so stay with us on the wb sunday it's all about comedy <laughs> hang out with the hot ones I need your help. How do you get rid of an unwanted visitor? Get with the big time. I ain't Isaac, and this ain't the love boat. It's all about laughs. My girl's got skills. Uh huh. Sunday night on ABC 24, WPTY. Hi, my name is Mike Starnes. I'm a chairman and CEO of MS Cures. We're a trucking logistics company located here in Memphis, Tennessee that serves the continental United States, Mexico, and Canada. You know, we were very lucky 21 years ago when we started MS Cures in Memphis because it's since become recognized as America's distribution center. For our 4,000 employees, MS Cures is very proud to be recognized as having a part in Memphis becoming America's distribution center. If it was brought to you by truck, by barge, or by air, chances are Southern fabricators played a part. Since 1956, our dedicated, skilled employees have provided a high-tech, high-benefit impact on the Mid-South economy. Committed to our community and to the future. Southern fabricators, we touch your life daily. Making it in America starts right here at home. Toyota's region-wide tent sale is back, and it's hotter than ever. Every Toyota car, truck, minivan, and sport utility has been clearly marked through July 31st. Like this Toyota 4Runner, one of the most fuel-efficient vehicles in its class. 4Runner now has total savings up to $1,400. Or check out RAV4 with savings up to $1,250. Look for the tents, and then look for the hot deals. The Toyota tent sale and special offers end July 31st. See your Toyota dealer today. Closed captioning is provided by your local Dodge dealers. Well, as we open our health file, another reason to watch your cholesterol, particularly if you're a man. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine shows that young men with high cholesterol levels are at great risk for long-term heart disease. Doctors say the results back up claims young men should be tested for cholesterol levels early in life and at least every five years. And as you're watching your cholesterol and what you eat, go ahead and chow down on some chocolate. University of California researchers studied the effect of bars and drinks on the body and they found that ingredients in chocolate help eliminate unwanted plaque clogging the heart and blood vessels. The researchers warn though, don't overdo it on the sweet stuff. And if you have any health concerns, call the UT Medical Group at 448-6610 or check out the company's website at utmedicalgroup.com. And it was a battle of the birds today at AutoZone Park, but not the birds you might be thinking of. All P.D. Right. Parrot and Rocky Redbird were on hand for the opening of P.D. Parrot's Playground. And it didn't take the kids long to figure out what to do. They were sliding and playing. The playground is built so parents can supervise their children while never missing a single play of the game. And still to come, Mark Walden's not going to miss this forecast for anything in the world. Plus, we'll have some advice on buying stocks in the 21st century. The trick is, you have to go high tech. So stay with us. Roll 
over any unused minutes from one month to the next. They're your minutes. Keep them with the new Bell South rollover plan. Hi, I'm Leslie Basham for Landers Ford in Collierville. Landers Ford, what a dealership. They've got everything, special discounts, rebates, unique payment plans, low down payments and monthly payments, plus a huge inventory of vehicles. I mean, when you sell the number of vehicles we sell, it's the dealership that's happening. You know, seeing is believing, and you just gotta see this place. Landers Ford Memphis, where Germantown meets Collierville on Poplar. November 23, 1998. To settle state lawsuits, America's major tobacco companies signed a tobacco settlement agreement that provides the states over $200 billion and restricts the marketing of tobacco products. The agreement bans all tobacco company billboards and transit advertising. No more tobacco logos on clothing or merchandise. No paid tobacco product placement in movies and no more cartoon characters selling cigarettes. The agreement strictly prohibits the marketing of tobacco to kids. It restricts tobacco brand sponsorship of team sports and entertainment events. And it provides $1.5 billion to fund youth anti-smoking ads in education. But don't take our word for it. For more information, call for a copy of the Tobacco Settlement Agreement. Because things are changing. And at Philip Morris, we wanted you to know. Is that kid stacking total in the dairy case? That he is, sir. Son, the cereal aisle is over there. Yeah, but now this is where total deserves to be. It's the only food with 100% of the daily value of calcium. Give me a hand. 100% calcium, huh? That's like down in three glasses of milk at once. Ooh. We gotta talk. You bet. Hey, are you getting enough calcium? Because most adults aren't. Total. Now with 100% calcium. Attention shoppers, Total is now in the dairy case. They're flying off the shelves at your grocers. Don't forget your brim. Stock up on your hometown snack favorite today, brims. The 2000 Kia Spectra. Not only is it a sporty car for 11,000, but now it's backed by our new long haul warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Forever. Get down from there. Maybe you should get your own. Kia's long haul warranty program. One less bump in the road. So you're a Pisces too, huh? Have you heard what K97 is doing? K97. Yeah, I like what K97's still doing. Mike Evans in the early morning team. Nikki French. Jack Flea. Stan Bell. Kid Fresh. The world famous Kylan. K97. Yeah. Weather is brought to you by your Lincoln Mercury dealer. Well, we always love hearing good news, and Mark is loaded with it, aren't you, Mark? <laughs> That's right. I mean, this beautiful weather will continue across the Mid-South, and when temperatures continue in the upper 80s for day after day, you can't help but get outside and do something. <laughs> Look at that, the green trees, the blue skies, just a few clouds out there, and uh, I am Tiger Woods. Uh, sure, I wish I could be out there hitting the golf ball as good as Tiger, but Michael Lees will have more on his great things he's done over the past couple of days out there at the British Open. But meanwhile, let's talk about weather because shower activity from a couple of days ago has continued to push its way south along the Texas coast. And we'll take you in here with Skynet 3D Zoom and show you uh, where all the rainfall is, mainly along the North Gulf Coast and along the eastern coast. Uh, the Atlantic coastline there seeing showers and thunderstorms, especially across the Carolinas. All this in association with a stationary front which is going to continue to keep them on the soggy side so if you're traveling that direction for your monday keep that in mind meantime high pressure up across uh, portions of uh, to the north of us here but will continue to bring us dry and cool air across the mid-south so that's good news because we're going to continue to keep this very pleasant weather with temperatures running about five to even ten degrees below normal and you factor in the fact that the jet stream is taking a dip across uh, the east that also means that the drier and cooler weather will continue to stick around as well. Current conditions 76 outside, a dew point of 59, humidity 55%, north northeast wind at 9, barometer is rising, and looking at your high today, only 86 degrees after a morning low of 71. 
The record there, 104 not in jeopardy back in 1934. Sunrise at 604, sunset 809 tomorrow, and no rainfall today. And that continues to be a problem across the Mid-South with us running about two and a half inches below normal for the month and over six and a half inches below normal for the year. Big question now, are we going to finally change that? We're heading into the second half of the year. We need to get some rain or we'll be in big trouble. But over the next 30 days, we're going to continue right around normal. And that means that the drought line conditions will continue here. Uh, then 90 days out above normal uh, monsoon moisture will move its way up towards uh, the four corner states and also above normal along the Atlantic coastline. But we continue to be in normal, almost below normal if, as we uh, look at the next 90 days. So that's certainly not good news because we could use every drop of rain we can get at this point. Tonight's lows will drop into the upper 60s, Lexington down to about 60. So uh, we're not the only ones sharing in this nice weather. And tomorrow, winds will continue out of the northeast, keeping us very pleasant with partly cloudy skies. And that front to the south will continue to bring them a chance of showers and a few thunder showers. Tomorrow's highs back into the upper 80s, again running well below normal. And uh, we'll continue this weather through midweek. Wait until you see the five day. 67 mainly clear for tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures back into the upper 80s with northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And your exclusive virtual five day forecast shapes up with temperatures just getting back to normal by the time we hit Thursday. So uh, just beautiful weather. Even the humidity on Thursday won't be completely back to the level we saw it at just a week and even two weeks ago. Okay. Still some uh, windows up weather. Oh, yeah. Always certainly good. fresh air, air of the house out. Thanks a lot, Mark. Okay. Well, let's hope that our Business forecast is just as good. Taking a look at our first business report, it is time to think about investing for the long term. And one clue is to look at what mutual fund investors are buying. A tough market like we've experienced this spring cuts into mutual fund cash flow, but investors get back in the mood quickly, and they're buying growth stocks. Another thing to keep investors on the upside, the expected vote to repeal estate taxes. The experts with AG Edwards believe the repeal could encourage people to work longer and build up an estate if Uncle Sam doesn't take it away. And for the Friday session, the Dow closed down at 110 points, and the NASDAQ was down more than 90 points. And that's this week's first business report. Good luck, investors. And as all the rage and stock trading going online, some advice on trying to make a killing on Wall Street, here's ABC 24's Michelle Robinson. If you've taken part in the recent ups and downs of Wall Street, you already know that stock trading can take a good deal of your time and energy. Thanks to technology, many people are going online to handle their trades, but you need to be careful when looking for an online broker. Armin Locke is a retiree who starts his day reading about investments and watching TV financial reports. Then, as he has for eight years, he goes online to monitor his portfolio. I never have to worry about getting a broker. Uh, I never have to worry about the phone line being busy. A standard computer with 32 to 64 megabytes of memory, a 56K modem, and an internet connection is more than adequate to start trading online. You can go to the web to find ratings of brokers on ease of use, customer confidence, and cost. Once you open an account and receive a password, you can view your portfolio and trade at the click of a button. Lowest price online firms charge frequent traders as little as $5 a trade. Most folks pay $8 to $35. They can go online, they can trade online, they can get quotes, they can get research. Securities regulators advise that you receive full disclosure about buying, selling, and commissions. Get information from the firm to verify advertised claims the thing about a computer is that I can uh, wake up in the middle of the night and uh, feel very nervous about something and I'll just go to my office and uh, boot up my computer and I'll sell that stock. That leaves more time for a carefree hike, another locked pastime. On the Consumer Watch, Michelle Robinson, ABC 24, UPN 30 News. And we can steer you to information about online trading. Just go to our website at ABC 24 dot com and click on the quicken.com icon and the University of Tennessee is making some changes after a scandal involving their football team the team was disgraced after reports said tutors had properly completed work for the athletes now the team captain filed suit against the university now UT is apologizing for publicly releasing the students academic records and the school also plans to tighten access to all student records well, still to come, Tiger Woods takes his place among golf elite. Michael Eve steps in next with sports.
the station that pays your bills. Smooth. 101.1. Make the most of your money. The first business report. Brought to you by A.G. Edwards and Sons. Sunday nights at 10 on ABC 24 News. I want a broker who will listen. I want to speak my mind. I want someone who cares about what's going on in my life. I want to lower my handicap. All the world over so easy to see. People everywhere just want to be free. GTE Wireless is now Verizon Wireless. Join in. make Kissimmee St. Cloud the perfect place to sleep, though the neighbors have been known to throw some big time celebrations. Kissimmee St. Cloud, right next door to the Walt Disney World Resort. Call for a free visitor's guide. On vacation, there are three things to consider when selecting a hotel. Location, location, location. Kissimmee St. Cloud, right next door to the Walt Disney World Resort. Call for a free visitor's guide. All the world over so easy to see. People everywhere just want to be free. GTE Wireless is now Verizon Wireless. Join in. ABC 24 Sports. Name the best sports cast in Tennessee by the Associated Press. Research. When you're buying a car, you've got to do a lot of it. So go ahead, read the magazines, go online, find out all you can. Then check out the 2000 Oldsmobile Intrigue, featuring the award-winning 215 horsepower twin cam V6. The sports sedan car and driver set turned out to be exceptional. I'm ready. Make the smart choice. Now you can lease the 2000 Intrigue GX for as low as $279 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for lease details. Today's baseball scoreboard is brought to you by Gold Strike Casino Resort. Welcome back to the show. When he first burst on the golf scene as a teenager, they said he wouldn't last. When he turned professional, they said he was getting too much pub. After he completely changed his swing shortly after winning the Masters by a record 12 strokes, they said he was crazy. Well, the only thing those player haters can say now about Tiger Woods, yo, Tiger, you the man. Tiger starting the final round of the British Open with a six-stroke lead over David Duvall and Thomas Bjorn. Duvall playing in the final group with Tiger. Birdie here at seven, his fourth on the front, moves to within three strokes of the lead. After making only one birdie through the first nine holes, Tiger gets in the groove. Birdie's at 10, 12, 14, moving him to 20 under par. The first time that score has ever been reached in a major. How about Lauren Roberts? Played solid this year in the majors. For par at the road hole, makes bogey, he shoots 73. More on him in a moment. Duvall, all kinds of trouble at 17. Needing four shots to get out of the road bunker. That's a snowman, a quadruple bogey, eight. Championship well in hand. Tiger makes par at 18, finishing at 19 under par, the lowest total ever in a major, as he becomes the fifth and the youngest player to complete the career Grand Slam, winning all four majors. He's the fastest to do it as well, needing only 15 starts. He's now won three of the last four majors. Let's check out the leaderboard. Eight strokes, the winning margin. Get this, in Tiger's four major titles, He's won by an average of nine strokes. Ernie Els has finished second in all three majors this year, and Lauren Roberts, three top tens in the 2000 majors. Time now for a word from our champion. Well, this is the home of golf. This is where uh, you always want to win. And if, as I said before the US Open, is that if you want to win two, two championships on, on the, the ultimate venues, it would be Pebble Beach and then St. Andrews. And, uh, I've, I've been very fortunate to, to win them both and, and, and have them both in the same year. And 
and uh, things have, um, boy, it's just hard to believe things have just gone my way. Outside Chicago, fawn around the U.S. Women's Open, Meg Mallon, third bogey in a row, ending her title hopes and opening the door for Kari Webb. Picks up the birdie here, wins the tournament by five strokes, her first U.S. Open title. And much like Tiger, Webb has won three of the last four women's majors. Here on the local golf scene, the Benny Miner Scramble, benefiting the Mid-South Junior Golf Program, scheduled for Monday, August 7th, out at Pine Hill. Stonebridge will host the Agape Child and Family Services Scramble Saturday, August 12th. The state's best women's foursome will be decided August 16th through the 17th at Nashville's Richland Country Club. And speaking of four ball, Audubon will host the Curtis Welch August 17th through the 18th. Now to baseball, and it's kind of hard to believe that despite dropping eight of their last 12 games, the Redbirds still led their division by eight and a half games, entering this afternoon's clash with Tucson. To the zone we go for the matinee. No score, bottom two, excuse me, two on for Lou Luca. Can I get some? Yeah, Lou, take it all. A three-run shot. Memphis taking the lead. Luca's second home of the series, 11th of the season. Juan Munoz, Brian Johnson each added two hits in our RBI as Memphis wins it 5-4, to four, thanks to some power from Mr. Luca. I expect myself to, to hit some home runs and, and drive in a lot of runs for this team. You know, a lot of guys have gone up to the big leagues, and, and I've been able to uh, pick us up in that spot, you know, when Richie's been gone and Eddie and all those guys. That would be Lou, not booze. In the bigs, Cardinals, Astros, in run field, short fences. That means a lot of jacks, including that one right there from Bill Spires off Andy Bennis. That's a two-run jack. And more would come. Several more would come, including Jeff Bagwell. That's an upper deck shot. Astros win and win big, 15 to 7. Making our way to upstate New York, Baseball Hall of Fame induction ceremonies from Cooperstown. Former Red Sox and White Sox catcher Carlton Fisk, one of the original members of the Big Red Machine, Tony Perez, and his former manager in Cincinnati, Sparky Anderson, joining baseball's most storied fraternity. Also entering the hall today, former Negro League standout Norm Turkey Stearns and 19th century second baseman Bid McPhee. Well, the most impressive athlete in the world right now, perhaps even more than Tiger Woods, has got to be Lance Armstrong. Two years removed from a near-fatal bout with cancer, the world's top cyclist headed towards Paris today in pursuit of his second straight Tour de France. And the 28-year-old from Austin, Texas, made it look easy, completing the 2,250-mile trek more than six minutes faster than his nearest rival. Armstrong joins Greg LeMond as the only Americans to win back-to-back -back Tour de France titles. Well, from leg power to horsepower, Pocono International hosting the Pennsylvania 500. Final lap, Jeremy Mayfield in the lead, blows a tire a half mile from the finish. Teammate Rusty Wallace takes over and holds off Jeff Burton for the checkered flag, the second win of the season for Wallace. Checking out the weekend results from Riverside Speedway. A.G. Reigns, Dean Carpenter, Ricky Vandergriff, Bruce Butler, and Mark Brandon all took home checkered flags this weekend in their respective divisions. Well, finally tonight, a prelude to Sydney. Well, it was supposed to be. The two fastest men in the world, Maurice Green and Michael Johnson, going head-to-head -head in the men's 200-meter finals at the U.S. Olympic Trials. And it's a fair start. Maurice Green came away. Michael Johnson is there. The two rivals coming to the head of the stretch, and Johnson has pulled up. Michael Johnson pulled up, holding his leg, and now Maurice Green. Green has pulled up. Green is also lame. The race continues without those two. the line in a shock. Not exactly what they were expecting. The two fastest men in the world both pull up with injuries. A left hamstring for Michael Johnson, a left hamstring for Maurice Green. Similar. But both of them are expected to recover and should compete in their other events in Sydney. But this was billed as man versus man, fastest versus fastest, and they will not face each other in Sydney. But Maurice Green will run in 100, Michael Johnson will run in the 400. And the television nation heard one long Ooh, from the <laughs> crowd, sure right? Uh -huh. Wow, that's tough. Now, you, we have many people from the Big Red Machine now yep. in the Hall of Fame. What do you think Pete's thinking? He wants to be in. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Tony Perez said something today during his induction speech that Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. Everyone has said that, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen unless Pete Rose admits his mistakes. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Well, still to come tonight, Mark has one more look at our forecast. Plus, who says you have to grow up? Nobody told me that. We're going to show you where the focus is on lots and lots of toys. So stay with us.